Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up? Creeper saying thank you, Chris, Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? I don't know why I said hey before that. I don't think I've ever said hey. That's neither here nor there, but guys... This video is going to be tongue-in-cheek, but make no mistake, I, I genuinely believe everything I'm going to say. It's going to be a poke at the Atari VCS, and anyone who's still on the VCS camp, which is fine with me. That's You like what you like, and I like what I like. But I like to put information out there to help people. I honestly believe this could help people. So if you are still on the fence with the VCS, and you, one, don't have the three to $400 to spend on this ridiculous thing, or two, don't have until never to get the thing... I have the solution for you. And if you follow these simple steps, again, I'm being genuine. My tone may sound comical. But if you follow these steps, you can have your very own Atari VCS for well under $150. Well under. I'm going to shoot for about $120 after shipping and taxes for everything. But you can have it probably next week, if not sooner. It's that simple. Okay. So, yes, I'm going there. The microcenter.com. Atari Pi. You go to microcenter.com, you type in Atari. These are the three options you're going to get. We're going to look at two. We're going to look at the center and the far right. Let's look at the center first. This is the full kit. This is the full kit that they're offering. As a matter of fact, what truly sparked this video was somebody left a comment. Hey, Creep, have you seen this the other day? They, they, they. And I said, yeah, I've seen it, and I wasn't going to cover it. I didn't feel like covering it. But the whole idea of the VCS and this, what you're about to, was blossomed by that comment so thank you so much for that comment you actually blossomed this video so for $99.99 you get yourself a Raspberry Pi 3B I think it is we'll have to look at it uh, just above the, the the pie there you get the nifty little case with the wood grain and the, and the little lines and everything really nice looking pie case um, I'll give them that it's a custom 101 and I believe you can get these on the site separately I'm not too sure uh, you get a cheap little gamepad that's USB. I'm sure you can just replace that with whatever you've got. A micro SD card, which is very important here. Uh, power supply, an HDMI cable, and I believe that top left is just supposed to be either a manual or the box itself, because the box looks very similar. And what this thing enables you to do is when you bring it home and you put it all together, and it's, it, you know even for a knucklehead like me, it's it's turnkey. It's wicked turnkey. You take the SD card, you put it in the machine. There are plenty of videos out there right now. All you got to do is put in the uh, Micro Center, Atari Pi Kit, and review videos that are starting to pop up all over the place. So you'll be able to see that more in depth on what this has to offer, and you'll understand it a little bit better. But basically what happens is something will download to the Pi, and all the games and everything that it's supposed to come with will come installed. And it's a pretty simple setup, even for an idiot like me, from what I'm seeing anyway. It's just a simple set it to Wi-Fi, put the card in, download a few things, and bippity-bam, you're off and running. For $99.99 plus shipping and taxes and all that. But wait, but wait, hold on a second. There was another option here. If you don't need all that other crap, and trust me, you don't need the case. If you just want to get the case and move on with it, that's fine. But over here, you have the option just to get the SD card. And all that information is on the card, not the machine, not the little Raspberry Pi. So you get this little micro SD card, and it has everything that that kid has, except it's just an SD card. It's literally just an SD card with all the, um, what is it, the image? Is that what it's called? So you get that. Now, what does this get to do with having a VCS? Am I making a joke about it just being a Raspberry Pi? Yes and no. A Raspberry Pi 3 whether it be the A or the B, is roughly $40. Now, I have Amazon brought up here. That might not have been the best choice because they're showing a lot of the, the kits. Uh, I was on eBay, and they're anywhere from $35 to $40 plus a few bucks shipping, depending on where you get it. If you get a can of kit, obviously you're going to spend a little bit more because it's going to be coming with a bunch of stuff. But you don't need all that stuff. You just need a way to power it on, which we all have micro USB cables. Let's let's face it, you know, and those stupid little wall warts. Um, so you just forty bucks there. So you buy that. You buy yourself uh, the SD card over here. So what are we at? We're at twenty five plus forty. You continue doing the math. 
this is this is where this is where you win. This is where you win. You come over to Thingiverse and you search Atari Box Remake. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. This is a file. It's a CAD, a computer animated drawing of an Atari VCS shell. And you get your little SD card. Hold on, I got one right here. Little SD card, which I didn't, I didn't, I didn't eject properly, but there's nothing on it anyway, not yet. And you put it on there, and you slice it, and do whatever it is. And if you have a 3D printer, in X amount of hours, you will have this. And this one actually does it in slices, uh, just like the original VCS was originally going to be um, was originally going to be put together until they decided that was going to be way too much tooling. And way too much money. So, uh, yeah, you come over here. You download this file for free. I have it on my computer. As a matter of fact, I don't have access to a 3D printer. So if anyone's willing to print this out for me, I'll pay for the, 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 the filament. And, of course, for shipping. And if you want to throw a few bucks in for time or whatever, um, I'll take care of that as long as we're not talking about a lot of money. I don't know what something like this would cost to, to print if you were just to use a, a printing service. I can't imagine it would cost less than 50 bucks. So even if you bought the pie at say 40 and then you get $25 which is what 65 right there you're at about 100 150 depending on how much it costs to print this if you have a 3d printer bam you're done under a hundred dollars have a nice day the cost of a little bit of filament and some of your time there you go you have an Atari VCS and all you need now is a laminate piece of wood for the front or if you choose to have the black that's up to you but if anyone wants to print one of these up for me um, I was going to do that and make this whole thing and then make one of those. I got my Atari VCS early. But here's, here's, here's where, here's where, okay. Right, all this time, it sounds like I've been picking on saying the Atari VCS is a Raspberry Pi. What you're going to get on this SD card is Atari 2600 ROMs. Uh, I don't remember how many. Figure the same amount as, say, um, uh, that game's flashback. You're also going to get 7,800 ROMs, a handful, just a small handful. Of them. The arcade, Atari arcade titles are going to be there. But guys, it's also a Raspberry Pi. You could put Retro Pi in there. So what I'm trying to say to you is this. It may not be as powerful as a machine as the actual Atari VCS is going to be. But it's going to do the exact same thing as the Atari VCS. It is going to be a microcomputer with loaded Atari games and access to streaming stuff. That's exactly what this is. So think about it. 25 here, 40 here, and whatever it would cost to have you print this or get it printed. Let's say it even costs you $150. You have not only an Atari VCS, but it's customizable just like the original VCS is supposed to be because it doesn't have an identi identity. So... I don't know. I think that's a much better option. I think that's a more fun option because you get to do it yourself. Uh, it's obviously a lot cheaper. And you know what? I believe those are Bluetooth. So if you really just want to buy one of the Atari controllers aftermarket once they come out, there you go. You have that. But what I'm trying to do is say this to you. You don't have to spend the $400 in this ridiculous machine. You don't have to do that. And you can have it now. You can have it like a week, depending on how long it takes to print. How long it takes to print that shell. Now, different printers take different time. You get all the other variables and all that stuff. But that's neither here nor there. That's between you, the printer, or the printer person. So, guys, I think it's a viable option, and I'm going to opt for it. I swear to God, I'm going to do this. I was going to do it behind the curtain, and then come up with some. But nah, fuck that. I'm just going to run with this and make it a series of, haha, building my own VCS. And when the real VCS comes up, we will compare. We will compare. I will try to find someone locally that has one. Or I'll find one cheap enough. <laughs> In the second-hand market. But, and we'll compare them. And we'll compare and see which one does what, which is better. And if they're just pretty much equal, I saved myself a ton of money. And again, I made it custom to my own specifications. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. It, again, it sounds tongue-in-cheek, but I'm being as genuine as anyone can be. So guys, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to 
the creep is positive. Guys, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Link down below. Help me fight Alzheimer's. We already reached my goal, but there's still a ton of work to do. So if you could click on that link, share it, toss a buck or two in there, I would genuinely appreciate it. And, of course, we're going to be doing the walk on the 27th. There's plenty more giveaways coming up, a lot more fun with the Alzheimer's Association. So with that, guys, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. God damn it, I got to get the ACs out. And bye-bye.